to be praised. Lord, I thank you that you know my name. But I'm also grateful this Sunday that I know your name. I discovered that there is power with certain names attached to it. Let, let me help you see it. Uh, even though President Obama is no longer in office, he has what is known as security detail. And that security detail does not just stop with him but it covers everyone that has his name. Yeah. So, Sasha and Malia, as long as they live, have security detail. But I, I, I also have security detail based upon the name that I know. Because I know Jesus, I'm covered Peter was kept in prison. 
It was a conjunction. But the church, <laughs> the church was earnestly praying to God for him. That night before Herod was to bring him to trial, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains and centurion stood guard at the entrance. Suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared and a light shone in the cell. He struck Peter on the side and woke him up. Quick, get up, he said. And the chains fell off Peter's wrist. He's guarded on all sides, and the church is praying, and prayer has power. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Whatever you came in here found with prayer can do Prayer can put your family back together. Prayer can heal your body. Prayer can regulate your mind if we pray. Grab your neighbor by the hand. Look, look him in the eye. Say, neighbor. Prayer, Prayer still has power. Still has power. I don't think that neighbor believe you. Look at your other neighbor now. <laughs> neighbor, neighbor. Prayer. Prayer still has power. Spirit of the living God, we need you today, Lord. We realize you and you alone are the source of our strength. It's reason time, Father. Again, I ask that my personal sin does not get in the way of you saving. That people don't hear from Christ, but they hear directly from Christ. Lord, there's some things that have us tied up in here today. We got some financial trouble. We have some emotional trouble. We have some political trouble. We have some relational trouble, but there's no trouble that prayer can't fix. <laughs> so fix it today for your servant and his people. Break chains. Deliver and set free. It is in that name that still works. that still heals, that's still a way man. So have your way in this place. Speak now, your servant is listening. It is in Jesus' name we seal this prayer that all of God's children say amen as you take your seats.
A lady showed up in the sanctuary who had been visiting our church. And she asked me would I be willing to pray for her sister, who at that point was on life support. So I greeted everyone, uh, asked her to step into uh, the office, and she pulled out a picture of her sister, called the hospital. We did a quick corporate conference prayer call. Reviewing the picture and hearing about her condition, can I, can I be honest in church? Uh, to be honest, I I didn't believe God was going to heal her. Uh, I, I didn't believe God was going to heal her to the point so much that um, after praying, I began to look at my calendar to see if I would be available for a homeborn service the following week. Yeah, I, I got some doubts, right? And so I prayed, um, and the next Sunday rolled around. And this sister is back at church. But this time, she has a guest with her. At the end of the service, uh, we did an altar call, and she's making her way to pray with me for this mysterious woman that's with her at church. As I grabbed her hand, she informed me that this was the same sister that was on life support a week early. <laughs> Prayer. Prayer works. Prayer can pull you out of a pit. Prayer can heal your body. Prayer can deliver you from disease. Prayer can pull you out of debt. Prayer can do some stuff for you that you can't do for yourself. And what amazed me is what I want to drop on you is this. Prayer works even if you believe it will work or not. Is there anybody in the building today that showed up that can testify that you said Because you, 
You don't want to make no moves without the Holy Spirit. You, you, you don't want to go to your job without the Holy Spirit. You, you don't want to be married without the Holy Spirit. You, you don't want to talk to your neighbors without the Holy Spirit because the Spirit is literally your GPS system in life. So they waited because they understood that they didn't want a new church without the power of the Holy Spirit. I don't want to preach without the power of the Holy Spirit. I don't want to try to raise my kids without the power of the Holy Spirit. They waited on the Holy Spirit and in chapter 2 you'll see the miraculous work of the impartation of the Holy Spirit. Here it is. Peter preached a sermon and with one sermon
and I lose everybody. Let me, let me try to get prayer. Prayer has the power to give you peace. Yeah. Even in the midst of peril. Let me show you. Look at this. Told you earlier. Pete, Pete, Pete locked down, y'all. He got 16 folks all around. And look at this verse. Number six says, the night before Herod was to bring him to trial, Peter was asleep. He has guards all around him. He's chained on all sides. And the Bible says he is sleeping. Okay, okay, let me, let me push it. Let me push it for you. Uh, there are four ways in which Romans exemplify, here it is, capital punishment. One thing that they would do, they would kill you with the sword. Another thing that they would do, they would stone you. Another capital punishment strategy is strangulation. And the fourth was to burn you to the crisp. And Peter knows all about what can happen, but he's sleep. How do you sleep in the middle of a storm? Ain't that a great question? Here it is, church. The reason Pete's able to sleep because he's witnessed God's past performance. <laughs> what do you think that brings? This ain't the first time Pete's been locked down.
us out. If God never sleeps nor slumber, what you staying up all night for? Take your crazy self to bed. God is able to keep you from falling. God can keep your stuff together if you talk to him. Prayer has the power to break you out of bondage. Look at this. Quick, get up, he said. Here's a shout. And the chains fell off Peter's ring. He got folks all around him. He's chained up. But because the church is praying for him, the chains fell off. What are you getting at? Can it be that you need to stop talking about your cousin Pookie so much that come to your house at Thanksgiving and drink all your liquor and instead of talking about him, talk to Jesus about him? Prayer was so Anybody got some folks in your family that with you today that need some prayer? Just keep looking at me that they, they chained up. But matter of fact, if you chained up on some stuff, you need some folks that's willing to pray for you. Prayer works. Prayer works. If you keep reading through this text, it gets even better because Herod. This political juggernaut that was trying to build his campaign on the backs of the church, God dealt with him. Because you keep at the end of this chapter, you'll see that prayer has the power to put political people in their place. Anybody ever uh, experienced God moving in your life in church? And by the time you reach the parking lot, you doubt that He's in. It is my prayer that by the end of this message, that you will begin, you and I will begin to set small goals in regards to our prayer life. If you could just take three minutes a day. Pray for God to transform you more into his image. Pray for God to influence you within your sphere of influence. Pray for God to give you the boldness to declare what thus saith the Lord. Your family will get better, I guarantee you. Your community will get better because of your prayer. And most importantly, you will get better because of your prayer. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we see a great example of 
what prayer can do. Prayer can give us peace in the midst of pressure. Prayer can break chains that have us bound. Prayer can pull angels into action. Prayer has the power to fix what's ever wrong within our politics. So we need a move from you today, Lord. A move that will challenge us to trust you at a deeper level. So Lord, have your way in this place as we surrender and we seek to